Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and uh, I wanted to give a quick demo of a new project I've been working on. Uh, so over the years on the various mailing lists out there, I've always seen, well, often seen comments uh, or requests for some sort of remote tuning knob. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So this is a pig knob. The um, this knob here is uh, solid machined aluminum. Up front, there's four buttons. And excuse the enclosure, it's just a uh, Dremel and drill. So uh, there's four switches and LED on the front. And on the back there's two serial ports, one to the radio and one to the computer. And then power in the middle. So let's go ahead and plug it in. As you can see that we're on now. I'm going to plug in the KX3 here. This will actually work with any text-based cat control radio. Going to be difficult. How about that? So I spin the knob, you can see the VFO tuning up there and down. And in the, uh, the encoder, there's an optical encoder in here, and there's a switch built into it. So if I push the switch like that, uh, it actually switches between fast tuning modes. So it's off right now. You can turn it on, and we're going up by one kilohertz increments now the switch is up front for example if I push button one here you can see we went down to 20 meters in CW two three we're just switching between bands and this is fully configurable so uh, if you plug a computer into the computer port here and hit dollar sign a few times it'll give you a menu and you can configure it. I'll show you that in a moment so that's the knob and uh, I wanted to get the two dimples in there so that it uh, looks a bit like a pig's nose. These are just stuck on googly eyes they uh, can peel right off so let's plug it into a computer and see what it looks like okay so I got the, the computer plugged in here through a USB serial adapter still plugged into the radio and power is coming in there also um, I chose a flanged enclosure just because um, while the knob is um, pretty hefty it's a solid chunk of aluminum the, um, the box is light it's all surface mount components on the inside except for the switches and the serial ports so back here in the computer the dollar sign you can see the command prompt came up and actually if I turn it off let me unplug it and I'll plug it back in you can see there pig knob version 1.0 hit the R sign to get to command so from in here if I hit enter I get a command prompt if I type in something it doesn't know it'll say unknown command hit H for help I do that it gives you a whole bunch of stuff and all the different commands uh, for example if I want to change what also it blinks fast when you're in command mode if I want to change what this button does I can set that in here just by um, entering B1 and then the text so for example FA 14 megahertz mode 3 um, so any text based macro will work in here uh, if I wanted to key for example I could do B1 KY hello that takes effect immediately. If I hit the one button one, so you heard the radio go over there. If I do P for print, you can see that listed here. It'll show me everything that's set. So the the baud rate for the two serial ports is set to 38 kilobaud. Button one will send this command. Button two, three, and four. You can also change the command that gets sent when you spin the knob. So clockwise will send up command, counterclockwise will send down. If you're in fast clockwise, it'll go up four, fast counterclockwise, down four. And one other thing, this serial port here is not just for configuration, it'll actually pass through. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot up Windows and turn on Ham Radio Deluxe. Just a minute. Okay, I've got Windows up here, and I have the computer plugged into the knob, oops, and I have the KX3 plugged into the other port, so uh, I'm going to start up Hammerhead Deluxe. It's going to talk through the COM port here, which 
the knob is going to proxy out to the radio. Start that up. Alright, so we're talking to the radio now. Let's see if I can get them both on the screen. No. Alright. So if I spin the knob, you can see HRD is updating up there. It's pulling that directly from the radio. And the radio is moving as well. Or if I type in HRD, megahertz 21 megahertz so it goes in line basically uh, with your radio or it can run without the computer and uh, basically just does knob stuff and uh, it has the four macro buttons on the front so uh, this is still in development I uh, there's a few things I want to change with the encoder and the layout and whatnot so stay tuned and uh, let me know what you think if you have any suggestions on uh, things to change or improvements, now's the time because uh, nothing's been sent out for production yet. And this is just a sample, the knob here, so uh, you might see some scratches on the top in the video there. Um, but this is most likely what the knob's going to look like. So let me know what you think. Thank you.